guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to take a minute today to tell you about something that I look forward to every... There went my phone. Every single month. And that is BoxyCharm. I love my BoxyCharm box. Um, there have been some disappointing months, I'm not gonna lie, but most of the time, I live for them. And so this month, we are gonna go ahead and show you what's going on. The theme is Glow Galaxy. Um, it's, you get five products pretty much every month for $21, and they're usually bomb. They're not usually, they're not usually name brand really stuff. Like, I mean, we have gotten like MAC and It Cosmetics and Ofra, stuff like that before, Too Faced or whatnot. Too Faced? Yeah. Tarte. Tarte, not Too Faced. I don't, I don't think we've got a Too Faced. But we have gotten Tarte, and um, so yeah, let's just jump in and show you guys what I got this month. Um, for $21, I've got five products where none of them cost normally less than $21. They're all $21 to $39.99, so that's pretty amazing to me. Like, you're spending $21 and everything you're getting costs more than that. So even if there's only one thing that you like in this whole box, you already got your money's worth. Like, what? That's amazing. And sometimes they even give you, like, coupon codes and whatnot that you can use to get, um, like, more from that brand or whatever and for a discount. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump in. The first thing that I'm pulling out is this Vintage by Jessica Lebeskin Smoky Eye Pencil in Jet Black. It says that it rates us for $21, so it's the lowest, cheapest thing in the box, and it's $21. Um, it says Jessica's richly pigmented smoky eye pencil delivers intense jet black definition, creating pencil point precision or smudgy, saturated color. The creamy soft formula glides on lids without tugging or pulling. That's something to live up to. We have gotten this brand in the past and I have liked them. We got one like a highlighter, but it actually looked more like a blush. And then we got this one highlighter palette that I really like actually. It looks like this. If I can open it. Looks like this. Um, you swatch them, they're really pretty, like, uh, like, they're really pretty, actually. Um, I like it, though. So, so far, I mean, this brand isn't, like, my favorite thing ever, but we have gotten stuff from them before in the past, and it wasn't, like, crazy disappointing. Like, you'll just have to look at my previous box of jar videos and see. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and try this eyeliner out. I've been trying to like try my things more in videos for you guys so you guys can see like is it actually worth it. So we're just gonna I put this in like the outer corner of my bottom waterline and it looks pretty nice. Like it's not super black. And it doesn't stick like crazy, crazy to the waterline, but it definitely is there. I think I'm just thinking that because it's not super black. But it's pretty, like, can you guys tell the difference? It just kind of adds more of a definition. Let's see if we can. Probably gonna make my eyes water really bad. I probably shouldn't do this. Let me not. Let me not try to put it in my top waterline. I will kind of smudge it along the top, though. <coughs> Okay, interesting. I guess that's kind of... I mean, I still don't know. Island. <laughs> like, what else can you say? It's pigmented. It's not like crazy black, but it's like a little bit there. It's like a smoky black, like it says in the description. So I'm not disappointed in that. Um, the next, let's just go up in the cost wise. So the next thing is $24. It's the Seraphine, Seraphine, Seraphine Botanicals Sugar and Glow Moisturizing Lip Buffer. Retails for $24. It says it's a blend of soft sugar crystals with a rich nourishing salve base that gently exfoliates and buff lip, buffs lips, leaving behind smoother skin with a touch of refreshing lemon zest scent. Made with avocado, apricot, and jojoba oils, as well as shea butter, shea and cocoa, cocoa butter to help rejuvenate and hydrate dry lips. Your girl needs that right now. My lips are drier than the Sahara. So let's go ahead and take off this lip balm I have on. And give this a go. My lips are really dry right now. You can see the dead skin on there. 
This is what it looks like. It comes in this little tube here. Super unnecessary. Because it comes in another tube. Um, but it just lists like everything on here. It says it's 92% plant-based, it's vegan, no mineral oil, no phthalates, no parabens, with avocado, apricot, and hobo oil, with shea butter, hypoallergenic, and non-comedogenic. I mean, it's pretty promising. I have uses. I like it. I will tell you that. I do like it. So it is, what, it's a 15 milliliter? That's not bad. Half a fluid ounce. A little bit over half a fluid ounce. Smells real good. It kind of comes out a lot at a time though. Like, the opening is kind of big. We got a um, exfoliator once in the past. It was by Beauty For Real and I love that stuff. I'm almost out of it. Me and Landon use it a lot. I have a hole in my inner lip, so I'm sorry if it's a little swollen looking. So, you definitely feel the oil. It's definitely like pretty hydrated. I'm just gonna wipe off the sugary part. My lips feel pretty soft. I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan. So, it took some of the dead skin away. I didn't want to push down too hard because I do have that hole on the inside of my lip. Um, that I bit. I know I'm great, huh? Um, it definitely exfoliated on. It definitely feels more hydrated. Like from the oil and softer. So, I'm a fan. And I would put a liquid lipstick on top afterwards. And I mean, for $24, it's kind of expensive. But, I mean, that's pretty average for an exfoliator. I feel like for a lip exfoliator. I don't know. But the next thing that is the next price point is Cover FX Shimmer Veil. These are new. Like, we just got these at Sephora. They retail for $28. It says, these multi-use shimmering cream colors are crease-proof enough for the boldest of eye looks and formulated without a weight lift. Formulated with a weightless finish for a shimmering effect anywhere on the face. Suitable for all skin types. The shade that we got in this month's box is Amethyst. And it is beautiful. I will put a little bit on for you guys so you guys can see just how freaking stunning this is. And I want more of them now. I didn't think I wanted these at first. I was like, nothing can beat the Stila ones. Like the Glimmer Wells. Mm -hmm. Guess again, these are real nice. Okay, I have a glitter and glow on right now, and it's kind of like not wanting to stick to it. But like, look at that shine, though. Sure, that's pretty. That's real pretty. And it just blends so beautifully. Like, that would look really good with like a purple, like outer corner or like a blue one. Oh, it's just so so pretty but yeah that's really pretty i'm really happy with that that's 28 dollars like girl this was a good month for box of charms um i almost am tempted to order like two box of charms at a time so i can get like doubles of things like i mean like a double lip scrub would totally be worth it double like one of these other things that i'm about to talk to you about totally would be worth it like if i got a different color of the cover x one Completely worth it. The next thing though is the Crown Pro Trio Brush Set. Retails for $29.99, so basically $30. Bucks. Um, it says use this three piece pro brush trio to contour your face to perfection. The small brush can be used to cancel imperfections and highlight underneath the eyes. The medium sized brush can be used to sculpt the cheekbones and perimeter of the face. Finally, the large powder brush can be used to set everything in place. I already pulled them out because I had to feel it. But I mean, for $29.99, like. Cool. I'm living. And we've got some of these in the past too, and they're really nice. Like, let's see if I can find one. Yes, we just got one. We got the this one. We just got this in a boxy charm box like last month or the month before. This this one. 
but I'm not complaining. Like, I love getting brushes and boxes. But these are it. This one is, um, yeah, I mean, I could see using that under your eye. It's a little bit big to, like, use on your eye. I mean, you could if you, like, didn't care if it was really precise. But I could definitely see it, like, under the eye. Mm -hmm. Could definitely do it. Um, this next one, the contour. I don't know about all that. It's a little stiff. Like, I don't know what I would use this for. Maybe to like, maybe like cream contour. I could see that. Like, it could, it's stiff enough to like blend out a cream contour. That's for sure. Yes. Um, yeah. And then this big one is so pretty and fluffy. And these are just so soft. I love them. Um, like, I don't know if I would use this to like put powder all over my face, but like a blush for sure. Like, easy. Really nice. Um, yeah, I'm very pleased. This month was a killer box. Like, not all like super strong like name brands like um cover fix is a really good one but like some of these other ones aren't but like it's really good so far and lastly this one is the 39.99 product it is the naked cosmetics holographic highlighting palette like i said it retails for 39.99 40 bucks it says with six stunning holographic shadows shades not shadows shades i can't read i can't talk i'm telling you i've had a long day this highlighting palette is essential for any makeup enthusiast. Each iridescent shade is perfect for highlighting and layering to transform any look into something enchanting. This is what it looks like on the outside. You can see the reflection of it. It's kind of cool. Um, but inside, I'm not impressed. Like, why do I want a green highlighter? Why? Granted, I shouldn't talk because I just bought the... Aurora palette, but when you swatch those they don't look like that color on your face Like let me just do this one here No, no, I don't want red on my face or blue Or green I don't want that on my face No. Like they are highlighty I'll give them that but I don't want blue or green on my face What? I guess we'll use one of these brushes and we'll try it out. Which one should I use? This one? Oh, I just dug my nail in that. We'll do a different color on each part. We're gonna start with this green because I'm like, why the heck would I want a green highlighter on my face? <clears throat> I don't know, I guess that's kind of cool. That's, that's definitely interesting. Like, it's highlighty for sure, but I don't know if I'm digging the green. Like, I couldn't wear this to school. I could wear this to work. Like, you guys can see the highlight. Like, I could wear this to work, but I couldn't wear green to school. No. The brush is nice, though. I like the brush. And that's real highlighty. But couldn't wear green to school. And try a different color over here. How about purple? Not as buildable with this brush. Interesting though. I'm kind of digging the purple. Okay, okay. I judged it before I should have. My bad. Well, it's like not like you've never done that. Interesting. Interesting. It's definitely glam. I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of living for it. Low key. Why am I loving having green highlight on my face? I feel like an iguana, and I'm living for it. Like. Honestly, this is everything. What am I doing? Like, I, why am I living for a green highlight? I mean, head on, it doesn't look cute. Like, you can see the... But, like, in the light... Ooh. Or imagine on, like, your brow... Hold on. Oh, yes, honey! Yes! Okay! Like, can you imagine, like, if you had a green look... Can you just take a minute, like imagine like popping that in your inner corner? Why are more people not doing this? Like this is everything. Like, ooh, mama. Okay, we need to put more on. Like I'm living for this. These videos are gonna be real long. Um, We got purple over here, we got green over here. What should we put on the nose? Yellow. 
I'm using this brush too now. We don't use them all. I push that most of the way. Okay. 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 I'll tell you what. These are really highlighty. I mean, would I wear a yellow highlight on my face every day? No. Am I living for it right now, though? Yes, ma'am. I sure am. I look like a clown. But I don't care because these are really like blind. Like, look at I just can't stop looking at this green in the viewfinder. Oh like, purple's living too. Like, I'm an alien and I love it. Okay, we need to put more on. I'm gonna use the other side of the. Where's my color switch? I wanna use all of these colors now. Oh, Boxy Charm. Why do you do me like this? Okay, we've used green, purple, and yellow. Let's take some blue. And we're gonna put it over here on this on this brown bone. All these. What? What? Like what? What? Can you just like I'm no longer jealous of my sister. She got the Ofra like pop out palette, like palette with the blush, and I really wanted that, but now I'm living for this. Let me show up to work with some blue highlighter on. This green, mm, it's everything. It's like everything. Oh, yes! Mama, okay, we need to put some more on. What other color how do we use? We have purple, green, blue, yellow. We still have pink and like this ready pink color. What? Where else can I highlight though? My upper lip? Do I still got some blue on there? That's interesting. That's real interesting. Can you guys see that? Holy smokes! Good thing this is the last video I needed to film. I'm living. You guys, this is everything. We got one more color and you know I gotta use it cause... I'm living now. This was a good month for BoxyCharm. This last one is this beautiful pink color. We're just gonna pop this in the inner corner. I'm not as bright as some of the other ones. Oh my goodness though. I'm living for this palette. Didn't think I was gonna love it. I really didn't, but look at look at, uh I, get, I need to I just need to layer more on. I can't get over this green and how beautiful like oh oh holy oh I got it in my brow Ooh. I just Mmm. In my eyes. This was worth every penny. I need to go before I just like pee my pants. This month. Boxy Trap killed it. I really am in love with everything that I got. Like, let's just go through it real quick. Eyeliner! Not my favorite eyeliner in the world, but I mean it did the job. It's staying in my waterline and it's not like super like harsh looking. It's a plus. Um it alone is the price of the box. The next thing, what did we talk about? The lip scrub. Honey, my lips are so soft now. Like, still gonna put a lip up on because they're gonna peel if I don't. But I mean, this this is this is really nice. I'm living. Um, what else? Cover FX. Look at this. Look at my eyelids. Like, ignore my highlight for a second if you can. I know it's real hard because it's stunning. Look at, look at this. Beautiful. These brushes, like, did you not see this green that I just piled on my face with this beautiful brush? 
This is beautiful. This is amazing. Like, even this one was good. Like, we put some on here. I just can't. I just can't do it. Like, these are bomb. This makes me want to put makeup on my face every day. I'm living. What else? I don't even need to say anything about the highlighter. Like, you could, like, this green speaks for itself. I can't, honey, look at this highlight. It's good. I know, it's green though. And it's amazing. <laughs> I'm living. I need to go before I like pee. All right. Yeah, okay. This was a really bomb pat box this month. What does it retail for? 40, 30? Hey, let me, let me just, let me just add this up real fast. Cause it's late. I don't want to do it to my ass. Let's stick a Thirty-nine ninety-nine plus twenty-eight plus twenty-one plus twenty-four plus twenty-nine ninety-nine. Hundred forty-two dollars and ninety-eight cents, my people. Hundred forty-two dollars. Hundred forty-three dollars for all this. I paid twenty-one. What? If you don't have oxygen, what are you doing? Like, look at this highlight and go order it right now. Go. Even if you don't like that palette, you don't like this eyeshadow. You don't want a lip scrub. You don't want three new brushes that reach off for $30. Go get it. I don't need to say anything else. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.